Hello, I am Dan Benson. Today I would like to show you how to program the eFlight 30 Amp Pro ESC using the throttle of your transmitter. You're going to love this video. It will save you lots of headaches and time trying to figure out the instruction manual. And once you get the hang of programming your ESC, it's really pretty simple. You will program various settings of your ESC using throttle positions. When the throttle is fully advanced, I call that position choose. And when the throttle is half advanced, I call that position confirm. To start programming the, programming the ESC, you need a receiver that is bound to the transmitter you are going to use. Turn on the transmitter, then fully advance the throttle. Now power up your receiver by connecting the battery to it. You will hear two fast beeps. Since you want to confirm that you want to be in the program mode, retard the throttle to half. Remember, full throttle means choose, Half throttle means confirm. Next you will hear beeps indicating the menu item, starting with one beep and going all the way to seven beeps. Then the sequence starts again. I've made this cheat sheet to help you know what each uh, menu item represents. Let's review that now. The left column is the menu item. This corresponds to the number of beeps. So one beep would indicate that you are in menu item one, which allows you to program the voltage cutoff. Menu item two allows you to change the brake setting. Three changes the timing. Four, the throttle input rate. Five, the startup rate. 6, the PWM switching frequency, and 7, the operating mode. If you don't know what these are, you probably shouldn't be changing them. The column shows the various options you can choose for each menu item. For example, your choices in menu item 1 are option 3, which is 3 LiPo cells, four, four cells, and seven is 74% of the startup voltage. The choices for brake are brake off, soft brake, medium brake, and hard brake, corresponding to options one through four. I'll let you study this sheet to learn about the other menu items and the options in each of these menu items. So now we can program our ESC. I'm going to program two settings. First, we will program the brake mode. Then we will program the voltage cutoff. You can see from our cheat sheet that the brake mode is pretty straightforward. Programming the voltage cutoff is a little different, as you can see in our cheat sheet. Listen to the beeps. One beep, voltage cutoff. Two beeps, break. Three beeps, timing, etc. Since we want to choose the break mode, we wait for two beeps. Now we advance the throttle to full, which puts us into the choose mode. The first beep we hear is for break off. The second set of beeps is for soft break, etc. Since we're going to choose medium break, we wait until the three beeps comes around, and then we put the throttle in the middle, which confirms our choice. Now the ESC starts cycling through the menu items. Next, let's change the voltage cutoff. Let's wait until the beep cycle around to one beep, 
Again, we advance the full throttle to full. This puts us in the choose mode. Here, though, the options start with three beeps for three cells, then comes four beeps for four cells, and finally is the goofy sound for option seven, which is 74%. I use three cells, so we will retard the throttle at three beeps to confirm my choice. Disconnect your battery and you're all done. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.